Hi, my name is David Brown and I'm an Applications Engineer from Hawk Ridge Systems and today I'm going to teach you how to create a section of a conveyor system that will change with changes made to a layout sketch. And Basically uh, what I have here is I have a, an assembly that has a layout, layout sketch in it which just is simply comprised of this single line and then there's two frame supports for the conveyor system that are inserted into this assembly and mated to the line. So changes in the line will make changes to the distance between these two frame components. So now what I need to do is go ahead and build my in-context uh, conveyor belt system. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a insert component, insert a new part, choose my template, and then select the top of one of the frames for the in-place mate. I'm going to select a corner rectangle and attach that to a, a, a vertexes in the frame. And I'm going to go ahead and select the two ends and make them construction geometry because I'm really only concerned with the sides. At this point I'm ready to insert structural members and what I've done is I've already created a custom profile that represents my structural members for my conveyor sides rails and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert one of these I'm going to need to mirror that so it's in the correct orientation and then I'm going to locate the profile so that it sits on top of the rails I want to do one for the other side so I need to go and create a new group I'll select that line it's already orientated in the correct way I just need to locate that profile and then hit OK and I'm going to go ahead and give them a color so that they stand out a little bit. At this point I'm going to go ahead and put a hole wizard hole and I've got a 3 8 hole already set up in here so I'm just going to choose my position select the side of that it's going to go through all and I'm going to dimension that to locate the position of this first hole. One inch from this end and a set distance from the top which will help position my rollers correctly. So now what I need to do is I've got this one hole here. Now I'm going to show you something that's new in 2015. I'm going to pattern this hole with a new linear pattern functionality and I'm going to select the direction and I'm going to choose this up to reference box and select the opposite edge and I'm going to set a an offset distance and then a distance of two and a half inches for my rollers and then I'm going to go ahead and choose that whole pattern select my green check and there I've got my parts created my rails with the holes in them so I'm finished with this now I can return to my assembly and here I'm going to insert a roller so I'll browse to my folder where I have that insert one of those and I'm just going to simply select control select these two and put on a concentric mate and what one, one feature I like to use a lot is the width mate because I like to have that centered in there and a little trick you can do here with this width mate is you can select using your control key holding that down and selecting all four of the faces choosing mate and it automatically puts the right faces in the right boxes for that width mate I think that's a really handy way to do that um, now I'm just going to simply pattern this with a pattern driven component pattern and I select the first uh, roller there and then for the driving feature I just select one of these holes and there I have it those are all patterned right down across there and now when I make a change I'm going to double click on this layout sketch line now I can make a change to this and I can actually any changes that are made to this once I hit update all of the rollers, everything stays just the way it should no matter how long I make that section of conveyor system. So in today's video I showed you uh, the new functionality of the 
the pattern feature and how to create an in-place conveyor system within the context of an assembly that's controlled by a layout sketch. I hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe to Hawk Ridge Systems YouTube channel and thank you for watching.